my lovelies i hope you're all well so today we're carrying on with our print and cut mini series and we're going to look at printable iron on dark today we're actually going to use it to decorate a wooden block so i've got some clip art here this is from design bundles and i will link to it below it comes in uh you have to upload it separately as several images and you can choose to upload them as SVGs or PNGs. I'm going to upload them as PNGs and just save them straight away as a print and cut. If you don't know how to do this, I will link to our previous tutorial on it below. As you can see, because they are all individual clip art files, they will upload individually. You'll also see I've already bought them in as a print and cut. So you just want to play with them and work out how you want it to look. You can see we've got the car, we've got the trees, and we've got the snow as well. So I'm just going to have a quick play. Once I've got it how I want it, I'm going to highlight all and I'm going to flatten. What this will do is it will cut around the outline, but it will not come in and cut each piece individually. So it won't cut up my elf or my Santa or my tree or my snow. It will just cut out the entire outline of my image. So I can then go to make it. Now the rule of thumb with printable iron on dark is that you do not need to mirror. It's always worth checking the instructions though. Different manufacturers may have different instructions. But as I say, the general rule of thumb is you do not need to mirror. As always, I'm going to send it to my inkjet printer. I always like to have my bleed off, but if you want your bleed on, that's your own personal choice. Please do be aware that when it prints out, it will have a blur around it. This is just a buffer for the machine to cut, and it will remove it once it cuts your image out. As you can see, I am currently having connection issues. I am just going to, I'm using my maker today, so I'm going to go down to iron on and I'm going to select printable iron on dark. If I was using my air or my air 2, I'm just going to move my dial round to custom and I can then choose that same setting. So this printable iron on dark from MDP supplies has a white side and a gridded side. You want to make sure that you are printing on the white side. This is for inkjet. Something that I love when you order this from MDP Supplies is that no matter which one of the iron-on printables you are ordering, they always put in a silicone sheet for you, which of course you need with iron-on. So that's something that I really like. Once it's printed, because it is an inkjet, we are going to leave it to dry for about 10 minutes. As I say, I am using the cut setting printable iron on dark with this, but it's always worth, if you've never used it and you're getting it from a new supplier, it's always worth doing a small test cut. Once it's cut, I'm going to turn my mat over. I'm going to gently peel it away without bending my mat too much because obviously it's quite delicate and I don't want to snap it. I'm into a corner with my weeding tool and I'm just going to come in and start weeding away. Now the thing with printable iron on dark is you have to remove it from its backing sheet. So we're just gonna come in and turn it over now the thing about printable iron on dark is you do need to remove it from its backing sheet. So we're just going to come in and we're just going to very very gently start lifting it up. It is not sticky and you can use your weeding tool to help you. And this is what it will then look like. 
So I've got a wooden block here. This is by a company called MBT, which is made by Tree. I am obsessed with this company at the moment. I will leave a link to them in the description below. I think their prices are really reasonable. I think their postage is extremely reasonable. You can have the blocks waxed or you can have them left blank. I get a mixture of both. There are lots of different sizes. You can get them with hanging holes in, you can get them different thicknesses. I really really love this company. So you're just going to come in and you're going to place your iron on dark onto your item and because it's not sticky you can of course move it around until you're happy with the placement. Now even though we're using the easy press today, when I am using printable iron on dark I always, always put a heat protection sheet over it. So I am going to use one of the silicone sheets that has been provided with the printable iron on dark. Now if I was putting this on a garment, so some fabric, I would have it at a lower heat, but I'm not. I'm putting it onto a pre-waxed block. So I've got it set, I've got my easy press set to 170 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds. So I'm just going to bring my easy press over and I'm then just going to press my C and I'm just applying a little bit of pressure but mainly just to keep it in place. And we can remove our silicone sheet and that is nice and adhered. What I like to do is I like to let it cool down for about a minute and then I'm going to go back in for 170 degrees Celsius for 30 seconds just to make sure that that is nice and adhered and it's not going anywhere. But I do like to let it cool down for just a minute. So it's cooled down so I'm just going to place my sheet back over and again I'm going in for 170 degrees for 30 seconds just to make sure that it's fully adhered to my wood block. How super cute is that? Mm. 